the newest update in backpack battles just dropped and it comes in with a new item along with some pretty drastic changes to an existing one i stream daily on my twitch channel checking out new items and new strategies so feel free to check me out if you guys got the chance first let's start with the balances now the wobble tinger which i'm pretty sure i'm not saying that right i like to call it a rabbit so the rabbit got another much needed nerf the stamina gain per stack is now 0.7 percent instead of it being one percent which is pretty much a 30 percent nerf the item is definitely still strong and is a good source of stamina but now it's not as op which i believe is a pretty good change it's tag also changed to nature so you can use this with the leaf and it'll count towards the additional regeneration and mana that you get from the leaf the dj limp now has the magic tag which i don't think this is a really big change but you can now use it with the dancing dragon if that's something that you want it to do uh, mr struggles also got a big buff which has now increased the speed bonus duration from three seconds to now five seconds which i think that's a pretty much needed change the magic staff and the burning torches damage both have increased by one personally i think the magic staff is already pretty damn strong but then again it is plus one damage so this might just be more so for an early game once you get that combination versus late game when that thing is doing like 100 damage critical on you you know what i mean the corrupted armor gained an additional effect which is that holy and dark items now affect the star slots which is pretty cool and the strong stone skin potion threshold is now 45 block instead of 20 block which in my opinion is a pretty decent nerf however considering the various ways that you can gain block nowadays 45 block shouldn't be that big of a problem to achieve if you're trying to reach that threshold for the stone skin potion now the big rework is the fanfare which instead of its good old stun that the hammer builds like to use it now will either give you one in power or three mana along with removing two mana or removing one stamina from your enemy every five seconds it also gets 10 percent faster each star slot item which is very similar to the flute um, i think this is a pretty pretty dope item now because it has another option to get empowerment other than the current options that are available plus it can remove stamina which is pretty cool versus you using a shield or you use this and a shield and just be a stamina monster if that's something that you want to do it also changed to a godly item so it is a little bit more rare to find this can be really really cool when you're using it in succession with the great sword considering it needs that five empowerment to you know get a little bit better and for the new item my friends the heart canister this item is pretty dope because every three seconds you're gaining regeneration it will also use seven regeneration to give you 100 max health three empowerments and your healing will be increased by 20 percent once uh this item in my opinion isn't super duper overpowered but it can be a nice accessory to all Almost every single build out there and it's pretty obvious it's great for the bloodthorn builds because of the infinite regeneration scaling which means bloodthorn pretty much has infinite dps scaling once it converts that vampirism or sorry that regeneration into vampirism slash thorns along with the 20 percent increase in healing that's a direct effect to your vampirism which means your survivability is pretty much 20 percent better the max health is always a w no matter what and the empowerment can be great along with the great sword once again because you're going to get that three empowerment you can combine this with carrots carrot goober you can combine this with a new fanfare to get that five empowerment so that you can get that three stamina and that uh three second cooldown on the great sword if you really wanted to overall it's a pretty solid item nothing that i believe will break the game or you know new meta this new meta that but i do think it is a great accessory especially for blood thorn builds so we're probably gonna once again see a bunch of blood thorns or a bunch of rip sauce, depending on which way you want to go. Thank you guys for watching and let me know what you guys think about the new items. What do you think about the new nerfs, buffs, and a complete change over fanfare down below. And don't forget to subscribe. See the new game plan, the new items tomorrow. All right. I'll see you guys then. You have a good day.